This video will demonstrate my AutoCAD to Screen to Machine add-in, version 1.8. The add-in utilizes demand loading, which means that before you can use any of the features of it, you must issue the S2M init command. Once that has been done, we can proceed. Just like in previous versions, the only required steps are to assign the panel thickness to the part geometry, and to assign the depth of cut to the operation geometry. I have these operations that represent the center lines of the studs, and I've placed them all onto one layer so that I can quickly change their thickness. Like in previous versions, we can assign a specific tool to be used for these operations by placing them on a layer named the same as the Screen to Machine Center's tool. In our case, our tool name has a slash in it, and a slash is not an allowed character within a layer name, so we'll simply omit it. New to this version, selections of geometry have some additional properties available. They are not required. It will continue to operate just like as it did before, where the add-in will make certain assumptions about the geometry in order to create machinable part information for the Screen to Machine Center. If we tell it that a piece of geometry is a part, we get an additional feature where we can specify the part's quantity. Just like with all AutoCAD entities, multiple selection is allowed. So I can tell these are both part outlines, and then I need four of them. I have a few more operations to set up. This one is meant to be a cutout, so its thickness needs to match the panel's thickness. I can tell it that this is an operation, and I'll actually get a few more options. I can leave it to the automatic selection logic, just like before or else I can specifically override and tell it to do this as a pocket or treat it as a center line cut or cut to the inside of a closed polyline or cut to the outside of a closed polyline. If this polyline wasn't closed I could specify to the left or to the right around the polyline in a counterclockwise direction. In this case we want it on the inside. I also have a sequence. I can specify whether the operation will occur before or after the parts outline is cut. Just for demonstration purposes, we're going to select after the outline. I also have these small circles, which are line bores, to square out the corners. And we will select them all. Again, they're going to need to have a thickness that represents all the way through the panel. And again, I can make them an operation. And I can set them to occur before or after the outline. In this case, we'll set them after. Having done all that, I next issue an S2M face or back command, depending on whether I've drawn the part as viewed from the good face of the material or from the back. I select my part outlines. And like most AutoCAD commands, you can select your parts first and issue the command or go the direction we did. New to this version, if I happen to select geometry that had been specified as a part operation, it will simply be ignored. Then it opens up the transfer utility. For the moment, I'm going to move this window out of the way, just so I can show that geometry has been added to a locked layer. Anything that was ignored because it didn't have any thickness is in red. Text was added to each operation added to tell me how it was treated.
coming back to the transfer utility, I can elect to not use my Cabinet Vision Materials catalog, in which case the parts will be transferred to Screen and Machine Center with no material, and you'll have to select a material for them from the Screen and Machine Center's material catalog. If I do use my materials catalog, I can search. I have a list of my recent materials, and I can pin materials here so that they're permanently available. To pin a material, I right click, I select Add to Pinned, and to remove it, I right click and select Remove from Pinned. It will remember wherever this divider is set at. I have two options for transferring into Screen and Machine Center. If I select Empty and Add, everything that's currently in the Screen and Machine Center will be deleted. If I select Add to Existing, it will remain. This can be useful when you're sending out multiple different materials or when you decide that you need to make a modification to a part to send just that part back out and not have to send out all of the rest of the parts. Because we have Enterprise Manager installed on this computer, it's opened the Enterprise Manager Screen to Machine Center interface. If you do not have Enterprise Manager, it will skip this step and go directly to the Screen to Machine Center. Inside the Screen to Machine Center, we can edit the part and verify that all of our operations came through. I'm going to go ahead and nest. In this case, because of the funky shapes I have, I would get a better nest using the true shape module, but for purposes of this demonstration, it won't make any difference. I'm going to simulate the machining in order to verify that the operations we assigned to be after the outline occur as we've told them to.